you were saying some things have changed. I gave the intro, and right off the bat, the first thing you said is some opinions have changed. What has changed? Oh, that's a good question. Let's get right into it. Um, specifically, like when you mentioned that I was uh, against Trump, right? Well, the, what you're talking about is a video I posted also in a Jamaican accent when Trump lost the election, and I said, boss man Biden beat Trump and whatnot. I still, the reasons I was against Trump at that time have not changed. You know, the like specifically, you know, the racist stuff. It's debatable, you know, people got their own opinions on whether he's actually racist, but I'm talking about the comments of like, you know, there was good people on both sides when talking about the neo-Nazis. That's the stuff that made me be against Trump at the time. But at that time, when Biden won the election, I was big enough Biden and my feelings of Biden um, have changed. So you don't have the same, this is the most popular president we've ever had, 81 million votes. Your opinions on him has changed? On Biden? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> I mean, well, does it look like this country is going well? You know, there's a... The economy is, you know, absolute shit. In LA, there's homeless people everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're just doing drugs out on the streets. We gave all that money to Ukraine for what? We, I, we, our economy, don't we have enough problems to take care of within our own country? Rather than go spending all our tax dollars giving it to some other country? While we have homelessness everywhere, it's rampant, and we're giving out crack pipes to people? Yeah. But isn't that an L.A. problem? Like, isn't that something that your boy Newsom has to kind of clean up or Garcetti? This That's is also New York, though. That's also Illinois, correct. though. That's also, you know, uh, uh, Portland. You, For you sure. Saw what Portland, happened. Seattle. Did you see what course. Portland came out and said yesterday? Did you hear about that? Tyler, did you hear what the Portland guy said yesterday? We, we got to figure this out. This homelessness problem is, is bad. You know, the, too many drugs out there. And what are you talking about? These are the byproducts of your policy. Mm -hmm. that well, I, I mean, it, it, it boggles my mind yeah. how Gavin Newsom is even in office. I mean, it's almost as if you had a governor there who was his job was to just have everything go to shit as much as possible. It's almost like that's his objective. Mm -hmm. Like, how can I fuck up this state as much as possible? That's what it looks he, like to he, me. He crushed it in the recall. What was that in 2020, 2021? And it wasn't even Larry close Elder. against Larry Elder. It doesn't make any sense to me. That, go, that also goes for the mayor of L.A. I mean, Garcetti. I mean, it, it's all it's all absolute shit. Yeah. You know, I, I've I've grown up. I was born and raised in L.A. my entire life. I've yeah. never seen anything like this. When did it start really getting bad? Because it didn't COVID, start during COVID. It got exponentially yeah. worse during COVID. Mm hmm. As I'm sure it was like in a lot of cities all across America. Also, the stuff in the vaccine, I just don't agree with. I think it's morally wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like people should be forced to take anything. I think it's absolutely insane. Why, why do you... But here's a question, though, Chad. You come across as a... You, you have a very different experience in life than the average person. You've seen a lot, okay, in your life and at a very young age. So to you... A nice car to an average guy. I mean, oh my God, that's a Lamborghini. You like to just, I've seen the cars. You've seen that's the That's incorrect. Seen that's the, incorrect. You still value that? You'll still see no, the cars? It, I, this, is, this is like the, the number one misconception about me and my upbringing. That like I, I was just, you know, given Lamborghinis or, or that's nice That's not cars. what I'm saying. That's right. No, yeah. but, but still like a Lamborghini, yeah. like I, this is what people don't understand is that like for the majority of my life, I've been absolutely broke. Like, I mean, like living paycheck to paycheck, like throughout my early 20s. I mean, throughout like, you know, up until my late 20s, when I started, when, when my acting career started taking off and I was making enough money to support myself so I didn't have to work a nine to five. Yeah. I mean, if I had like, you know, $700 in my bank account, then that was like a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like for the majority of my life, up until my mid 20s and in, 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 until I started getting, you know, consistent recurring roles or series regulars on TV shows. But I guess the point I'm trying to make, and, and I, I appreciate you saying that, I, I think one part you said, you know, my, I would tell my dad, dad, I need some money. He would say, go wash my car, here's 60 bucks, right? So you always had to earn based on what you've right. said the way you were right. raised. I actually think you were raised the right way by, hey, we have the Me money, too. but this doesn't mean. Me too. But what I'm saying is you've been on the jets, you've been around the celebrity, you've been on the Hollywood people, you've seen all these guys. They're regular people that come to your house. I'm assuming that's the life you were around. So, you, you, but you're also in a, space where if I'm, if let's just say I'm your, you know, my father's a general of the army, who am I going to be around? Military guys, vets, colonels, officers, you know, 
that's my world. So right. I understand military. That's the world I come from. Right. So my language is, yes, sir, this. And maybe I hate it. Maybe it's too much, like, stop cleaning my bed in the morning. I don't want to clean my bed. There's going to be some kind of resentment towards a military background, right? You hear something. Or, or if my father was a pastor of a big church and I got caught smoking weed and the next Sunday morning the pastor, like, I remember being at church when uh, my pastor's son got caught doing something and he had to talk about it. On stage, 20,000 members, not comfortable. So the pressure of being the son of a preacher's boy, we've read about it. We've, you know, you've, you've seen it all over the place. Right? There's certain pressure that comes with it. But, you know, the Bible studies, you know, all that's because that's your world. Same with athletes. You know, Michael Jordan's son, you know, he's got the shadow of his father. And, you know, he's trying to, you know, there's no way in the world you're going to match that shadow. For you, you're in a family where the last name is Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. And you're... Mom's also an actress. So they both made it to the top, but your dad's in the GOAT status. He's one of the greatest of all time to do what he's done. I know you talk about what agreed, movies until today gets him emotional, gets you emotional when you talk about some of the movies. You know, but for you to say what you just said about Biden, what you just said about California, about Newsom comfortably the way that you did, and then in that world, most of them support what Newsom does. Most of them support it. The shutdown. Most of them supported yeah. the vaccine. Most of them supported. How do you? How do you? Is, is that a battle you deal with, or no? You're pretty comfortable with your position. And hey, this is who I am. I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I'm not. Have you always been like that? Not always, but uh, as I get older, I uh, I just feel that that's important. I mean, I, I I can't be anybody other than who I am, you know. I could, yeah. You you could you could be who you are of, of just, you could omit. You know what I'm saying? I could be who I am and just not say that, you know. But we're having a discussion. You know, I could just omit that. But then, isn't it a kind of a lie of omission if I choose not to say something that I really believe? I mean, we're on a podcast. I'm with you. You're, you know, I already know coming into this, this is going to be an extremely intelligent discussion. This is the type of platform for extremely intelligent discussions. I haven't mentioned this, but I mean, it's just it's such a privilege to be here because I'm a huge fan of the podcast. I watched all the mafia states of America. Mm -hmm. Like I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? So this is a trip and it's dope to be here having a conversation with you. I have a tremendous respect for, for you and both you guys. So it's really a privilege to be here. So if this is the platform to have a, a, a you know, intelligent discussion like that, then why wouldn't I? Is it uh, uh, is it tough to do that? Is it tough to, uh, I guess, let me ask the question in a different way. So, for example, a uh, Steinbrenner son. Let's say everybody knows the Steinbrenner last name. You think about what? The Yankees. Imagine if his son is like, yeah, I think baseball, you know, I think uh, I'm not a Yankees fan. And I'm a Red Sox fan, hypothetically. I mean, that's your position. That's a very dramatic position. Well, it's right? interesting, right? Because technically, I mean politics whether you are on the left or the right shouldn't have anything to do with your skill set as an actor or an entertainer i agree so but 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 somehow it's been skewed that way somehow it has been skewed that way where if you're in entertainment yeah. or hollywood then you're only allowed to promote one side and if you don't if you promote the other side at all you're like persona non grata but at this point i mean i've already been so fucking outspoken about anything my whole life it's like fuck it you know what i'm saying people who are going to work with me are going to want to work with me because i'm a talented actor or because we have a we have a relationship and if they don't then fuck it you know what i'm saying i i i i'm no longer dependent on having to put all my eggs in one basket whether it's acting music um or anything else I got going on because I have something else. Got, uh, um, now I have my, my, my self mastery program, my coaching program, and that's extremely fulfilling because I get to work one on one with people and uh, help change their lives. You know, because people have seen my story and how I've changed my life. Even though I'm still outspoken, I'm sober. I got in the best shape of my life and I'm actively pursuing something that's benefiting people directly where I get to work with people one on one and and witness their growth and do what I can to aid their growth right before, right in front of my eyes. Because I, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I but I can say is that most of the time when people reach out to me, 
I know exactly what they're going through because I've been there. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.